Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Picks and Parlays and Earl Sports Bets, and welcome back to another edition of Ballin' Out with Tim Earl. Today we've got a, I believe it's a six-game slate to talk about for the NBA for February the 7th. Before we do that, if you guys are interested in grabbing all of my plays, they are all over on the picksandparlays.net website, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. We'll get you a one-week pass for only $70. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll look back at yesterday, which as I'm recording this, none of the games have started yet because I'm recording this around 6 o'clock. Um, for tomorrow, for the games that I have bet on the site, Pistons, plus points, and money line. Wizards, money line. Nets, plus points, and money line. The over in the Bulls game. Uh and my best bet on the site, I also have Sacramento minus five and a half, and I have Golden State as my best bet. So those are all my bets that are going on for them. Uh, a couple of people asked, season-long record so far on the Picks and Parlay site, 241 and 226, up 16 points, 47 units, having a really good NBA year, number one on the site. So there you go. There is the current record for this year. By the way, not all games that I talk about are on this record. All this record is every single play that I personally bet and put on the Picks and Parlays website. So I just want to figure I mentioned that. I don't bet every single play. Um, I will give that disclaimer. I'm going to go over six games. I'm not going to play six plays tomorrow. I'm not going to have a play for every single game. And the lines are subject to change. So we'll look at this one. Magic and the Knicks. Knicks are two and a half point favorites, 228 and a half. That's what it is right now. When we wake up in the morning and this pretty video is premiering, the Knicks could be a three and a half, a four and a half point favorite, or a one and a half, or pick them. So it, it, it lines are subject to change. Figure out throw that one in as as well. We'll go ahead and look at it, Knicks and the Magic um, to start it off. And I'm you're getting the Magic at a at plus money, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them. Uh, they've been a solid go home team against the spread, sixteen and ten at home this year. Uh, they've been doing well as of late. And uh, the Knicks are kind of slacking off a little bit. They're dealing with a little bit of injuries. So we'll go ahead and grab the Magic uh, money line plus 125 in this one. Moving on to the next game, which is the Suns and the Nets. The Suns are six and a half point favorites. Uh, 223.5 is the total. The Nets will be on a second leg of a back to back as they do play against the Clippers tonight. Um, I, don't, I don't think it matters. Um, Dinwiddie and Denny, uh, Finney Smith should. Be active for this game. It's not guaranteed, but they should be active for this game for the Nets. I think it will give them a little bit more of a boost on the offensive side. Maybe some Spencer Dinwiddie props as well. I think that could be an interesting idea for that. But uh, we'll go ahead and grab the Nets plus six and a half for that one. Atlanta and uh, New Orleans is going to go at it. This is where my best bet is for uh, tomorrow's card. Uh, it is on a side in this one. So I'll look at a total and I'm going to go under the total. Um, I think this one will be a little bit more of a slower paced game. I just don't, I don't see a lot of, I don't see it going absolutely crazy. I think 100, 234 points. I think it lays in about the 220 areas. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this one under, but my best bet, the one that I'm actually going to bet is on a side in this game. Three games left. The Bulls are at the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies are six and a half point faves. 233 and a half is the total. And when I looked at this one, you got a Grizzlies team that's really struggling lately. They've lost eight out of their last nine games. They've covered in eight out of their last ten. I'm sorry, two out of their last ten they've uh, covered. This is not a team I want to be back in right now. I know the Bulls are going to be on a second lane with back-to-back. -back. It doesn't matter to me. Give me the Bulls plus the points in this one. I think they may even win this game outright. So that might be your be the uh, dog of the day. Uh, that or we'll talk about uh, one other game that I could see a, a dog popping up in. Um, but – uh, Bulls could be your dog of the day for tomorrow. T-Wolves and Nuggets will be going at it. Yes, we just saw this matchup. The Nuggets are six and a half point favorites at home this time. 235 and a half is the total. And we should be seeing Murray and Jokic and Gordon and, and KCP. The Nuggets are not punting this game like they did last game. And uh, this is the exact spot for a bounce back spot. This is a Nuggets team that's number one at home this year. 25 and four at home this year. 19 and 10 against the spread. So Nuggets spot where they're going to win this game by 15 plus we'll go ahead and take denver minus the six and a half for this one which will bring us to our final game which is the thunder and the lakers the lakers are seven and a half point favorites 237 and a half is the total come on are we really are we really doing this yeah no i'm grabbing the thunder uh i don't believe the you know thunder i think are on a 
Thunder will be on a second leg of a back-to-back. They're playing in Golden State tonight. They'll play in Lakerland tomorrow. I don't think the Lakers should ever be seven-and-a-half-point favorites um, against the Thunder at all. Um, there's a team, couple teams that they should be that big of favorites against. Thunder may win this game outright. It depends on what the uh, Warriors game looks like for tonight. If Oklahoma City gets absolutely blown out against Golden State like I'm projecting to, then yes, Thunder. If the Thunder win against Oklahoma City, against um, Golden State tonight, maybe I might shy away from this one. Uh, so this one will be a play if the Thunder lose tonight versus the Golden State Warriors. But Thunder plus 7.5 as the play in that one. Once again, here is my current NBA season record. Obviously, that is not accompanying for anything that happens on February 6th. Um, so none of those results are involved in that. So um, might be a little bit outdated by the time people see this in the morning. But as I'm recording this, this is my updated record. And if you guys want all the plays, they're over on pixelparlays.net forward slash Tim. That's going to do it for this episode of Balling Out with Tim Earl. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NBA. Good luck, guys.